Resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, so... Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. Give in to the hate. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> you didn't know, did you? <laughs> Remember my dying words. <coughs> Remember them whenever. <coughs> whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! Ah! It can't be true, can it? No, 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 it, it can't. Damn you. So. Damn you. Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth is not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise.
care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here.
understand of Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. 
What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. I wanted to tell you, but the Council forbid it. They were afraid you might return to the dark side if you discovered your real identity. But now you know the truth, Revan. The Council has failed in their attempt to make you their pawn. The will of a Sith Lord is not so easily manipulated. How can you say that? Malak nearly killed you, but the Jedi Council gave you another chance to live. They gave you a chance to redeem yourself by defeating the Sith. A rash and futile hope. The dark side is too strong, my power is too great. Even my old master is no longer a match for me. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete.
The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. problem. Didn't work. sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on!
This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up. For I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Star Forge. Ah! No, Matt. No! The door sealed. We can't get. Bas Basilis. Bastila. What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Nah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Kareth told me I'm a Leviathan, and Basil confirmed. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big! Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then... Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not... <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by- How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away- Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. It, uh, it all makes sense now, Revan. I've watched you. I've seen your cruelty. I've seen your... your dark side. And now this. I don't know if I can trust you. Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were. Though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, 
It will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Affirmation. Correct, master. Synth protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. Indeed. Wow. What are the... Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point... Good point. I knew the little guy would come. The others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I don't have any other choice, do I? Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments. Or as long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you... So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still...
what?